Okay, guys, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Nurjana Kimova, and I represent the international office at UCA, University of Central Asia. And let me introduce you to uh, Ms. Katya Tevs, my colleague. Uh, she is the director of DAT Information Center in Bishkek. Today, we're going to talk about the application process of, of the UCA DAD doctoral scholarships for academic year 2022-2023. And in the end of the session, we will have a Q&A where you will, you will have the possibility to address your questions. <clears throat> okay, so to start, I wanted to say a few words about UCA. UCA is, <clears throat> was founded in 2000 under the international treaty between uh, governments of Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, and Ismaili Mamad, and registered with the United Nations. It is secular, autonomous, not-for-profit institution and the first regional university with campuses in three states, a range of programs in Central Asia and Afghanistan. <clears throat> the University of Central Asia has uh, three schools. They are School of Arts and Sciences, uh, Graduate School of Development, and School of Professional and Continuing Education. In 2008, uh, the Central Asian Faculty Development Program was founded at UCA in order to create a pipeline of Central Asian uh, PhD graduates qualified from international universities of repute to eventually take on faculty positions at UCA. Uh, and under uh, CAFTP cohort one, uh, 43 candidates has been awarded uh, scholarships. Among them were 36 doctoral fellows and seven master's candidates. In 2018, CAFTP cohort two started and it awarded 20 candidates with uh, financial support <clears throat> in the scholarships. As for uh, talking about UCA DAD history, first MOU was signed in 2010, and uh, 17 doctoral fellows and two master candidates uh, received uh, an opportunity to study at German universities uh, like University of Bern, University of Cottbus, University of Hamburg, University of Tübingen, Freie University of Berlin, University of Beirut, Humboldt University, and others. Uh, uh, six of them returned to UCA and has been working at uh, our schools, at IPPA, uh, Institute of Public Policy and Administration, at MSRI, Mountain Societies Research Institute, and SAS, uh, School of Arts and Sciences. Three of these six continued their study and did their postdoc at Harvard University, University of Oxford, and one of them is currently uh, pursuing his PhD at Simon Fraser University in Canada right now. So the second MOU between UCA and DAD was signed in 2020, and uh, it, uh, three doctoral scholarships has been awarded, and uh, these scholarship holders are pursuing their PhD study at IMO Halle, Marburg University, and University of Göttingen. And uh, three weeks, <laughs> three weeks, we had uh, webinars and invited uh, these uh, scholars, Salima, Mehmoud, and Ramazan. But now, uh, but today, we're there are only two of us. So coming back to the actual announcement of the scholarship. So these scholarships are for students wishing to pursue their doctoral studies in the following fields, uh, computer science, engineering, communications and media, business management, earth and environmental sciences, and economics. So these fields reflect the taught majors and research interests in the School of Arts and Sciences, uh, Graduate School of Development, and the School of Professional and Continuing Education. Applicants from Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Kazakhstan are strongly encouraged to apply. Students from Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and Northern Pakistan are also eligible. While the application and selection process for these scholarship programs may vary based on discipline and institution of choice, all applicants are required to meet UCA and DAD eligibility criteria and confirm admission at a German university. Uh, application follow two-step process, which means that uh, you may wish to informally discuss 
uh, your interest by sending documents to UCA first. Uh, then selected candidates uh, will be required to apply and upload their full application on the DAD portal. And the final DAD submission deadline for applications is November the 30th, 2021. Mm -hmm. These scholarships are part of UCA's ongoing CAFTP uh, Central Asian Faculty Development Program. And uh, um, as I said before, it is designed to ensure that scholars from the region are strongly represented in UCA's faculty. Uh, what's uh, very important to know that uh, scholarship recipients will be required to work for four years at UCA after the completion of the studies in Germany. <clears throat> this partnership between UCA and DAD builds on the quality and is aimed to enhance the academic quality of UCA's future faculty. Uh, talking about UCA's eligibility criteria, uh, they're not much. <laughs> there, uh, there are only three of them. Uh, citizens, uh, citizens of Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Kazakhstan and Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and Northern Pakistan. This is the first criteria. The second is interest in a doctoral program in fields reflecting UCA priorities. And the third one is an interest in a career within academia, including research and teaching. Uh, if you want to informally discuss your application with UCA, you need to send a detailed current CV, personal statement, a detailed research proposal, and copies of your degree and diploma certificates and transcripts, of course. Um, so uh, now I want to invite Katya. Katya, please, the floor is yours. Yes, yeah, thank you, Najan, for this kind introduction. I will go uh, further and explain in detail how to um, how to understand correctly the call for application and how to upload all the doc documents and especially where to upload the documents. Yeah, okay, next slide, please. Sure. So, um, most important is that, of course, you need a master's degree or a equivalent diploma. And very important is that it shouldn't be older than six years. So when you have graduated in your um, bachelor, uh, master's degree 2015 or later, then you can apply. If the diploma or the master's degree is older than from 2015, very unfortunately, you can't apply, apply for this program. Um, Yes, then we have the restriction from for the countries of origin, but Nojan already um, explained this. Then please the next slide. Mm -hmm. So now let's have a look to the call for application. Um, I also copy the link to it into our chat. And if you might lose this link, you can also Google, Google Please Scholarship Database, DRD. And then next slide, please, you come to a page, it looks like this. And on the left side, please indicate your country of origin. And then um, for programs for doctoral candidates, and then refine your selection, and then you get a list of all doctoral programs um, dedicated to your country. And one of them is the um, UCA DRD doctoral scholarship. So when you are on this program, it looks like this. And then please be careful on head of the page, there are five tabs. And so it's overview, application requirements, applica uh, application procedure, contact and consulting and submitting an application. And it's very important that you click on every tab and read. There's a lot of text, but every single sentence is important. Please read every tab carefully. Okay, then the next uh, slide. So now what can be funded? It's, um, there are two ways of doing a, a doctoral program in Germany. The first and more traditional way is to write your doctoral thesis completely 
alone, more or less, under the supervision of a professor. So that's the normal way to do it in Germany. Um, or you can attend a um, doctoral, a structured doctoral school, um, a program that's more or less new for German universities. So we have that since maybe 20 more than 10 years. The problem of the second procedure is that you first need the proof of or an admission letter from this program. But unfortunately, the deadline of these programs are at a similar time as our deadlines here for the um, scholarship. And you can't um, hand in an admission letter before our deadline. So at least you can submit the um, email correspondence with the program coordinator who can state that you at least theoretically um, eligible to apply for the program and theoretically you are admitted, but it's not really a proof, it's not really an admission letter. So to be on the safe side, I would suggest that you look for a um, professor who supervises your individual uh, doctoral thesis. How to find a supervisor, I will explain a little bit later on. Now let's proceed here with the call for application. So the duration of the funding is the max of four years and the monthly payment is 1,200 euros plus a payment uh, so of the health insurance, accident insurance and so on and one travel allowance and on a yearly basis a small research allowance it's not much but you can buy some books or uh, some equipment for the laboratory okay the next one is uh, so what are the selection criteria of course the academic qualification that's documented by your university degree certificates and your transcript if you already have, please send in also your publications or lectures you have given or conference contributions. And of course, that's most important. I think it's the quality of the research proposal. So you also have to hand in a research proposal of um, around 10 pages and very important, the research schedule. So where you explain what are you planning to do the first six months, the second six months, and so on. Of course, you won't follow exactly the schedule, but the um, selection committee would like to know that you really think through the whole process. And also, please explain why you choose the special host institution. And it's very important that you here be very specific and explain why especially this professor and no other one and why this university and no other. Okay, the next slide, please. So then a good question is the language skill. You, so you can completely do your PhD in English. There's no need of knowing German. So it would be somehow better if you know at least a little bit German so that you can easily come along um, in daily life but in general you don't need German so anyway you but you need English or German if you prefer German on a high level so it should be B2 or C1 for the moment for your application it's not necessary to bring an official language certificate it's costly but if you for example here in you can go to the American University of Central Asia. They offer twice a week the so-called paper-based TOEFL test. It's an institutional TOEFL. It's not officially recognized, but for us it's okay and it's not costly. When you get awarded the scholarship and you later on um, enroll into your university, then you might need an official language test, but that will be next autumn, so there's a lot of time. For now, for us, somehow an unofficial certificate is then sufficient. The next one, please, thank you. 
So then the documents. So it's just an outline here. Please remember to check um, seriously on the call for application later on. So you need an online application form. You will find it in the application portal. I also will tell you later where to find it. Then, of course, a CV, a list of publications, if you have one. Then this um, extensive description of your research proposal, including a schedule, or I already talked about it, your diploma or degree certificate. And please be very careful. It has a first page, a second, and a third. Please scan the original, all three pages, and translate all three pages, not only the first or the second or the last, all three pages, please. And the translation can be done by you. So you don't need a, um, an official translation for that, not for now. Then proof of language, I have already explained. And most important, if you choose a supervision by a university professor, then you need a letter confirming that this professor will supervise your thesis. Uh, it's enough, it's just a PDF, so it's just a letter. So the professor has to write, I, Professor XY, will supervise the thesis on topics so and so of the candidate so and so. It's my great pleasure and so on. Or if you choose a study program, you need officially the admission letter, but as I just told, probably it's not possible to hand in this admission letter in time. Then please provide us with the email correspondence with the um, program coordinator. So, okay, the next slide. So this is, um, yeah, what also Nojan already told you. Uh, from Pakistan, we are happy to have applicants from the both northern regions. And normally you should submit a reference letter from a university teacher, but so to this address, you also find this address on, on, a, on our homepage, DRD Kyrgyzstan, you will find it. Um, next slide, please. Um, but because of the uh, corona measurements at the moment, we say it's not necessary to hand in a um, um, reference letter because some university are still working online and it is not possible. So if you have one and you would like to hand it in, please send it to our office here in Bishkek. If you don't have a reference letter, it doesn't matter this year. And the deadline for all documents to be uploaded to the portal is the 30th of November. So then I give you the link now where to find this portal. So I give you, uh, sorry, I have two screens and one mouse. It's confusing, so it's this one. Um, so is, this is the link, or you also can go to this call for application. Please remember that we had these five tabs on head of it, and the last one was a green one. It's called application. When you click on it and on this side, scroll down to the end, there is another button, and it's called to the application portal. If you click on this button, you come to this page, and there, so now it's displayed in German because my browser is um, for German. But when you, so I assume you get it in English. If not, then you can click, um, yeah, it's jetzt registrieren, sounds like register. Click on it and then you can register and then you can change um, the language. So once you are registered, go into the portal, enter it from the call of application. And then it looks like already this, you have, you see funding program, DRD, UCA program, it's already uh, in the right position. And then for example, country of residence could be Afghanistan. So if you enter from, from the link or from somewhere else, 
and you are not on this entry page, then have a look on the first line, personal funding, click on this. Then in the second line, application, click on this, and then program selection, fill in form. And this is the form, the application form I told you before. So you fill in this form, download it to your computer, save it on your computer and upload it again, and then click on um, upload document. And then you have a, so I can't show you the screen of this because um, I can't, I can't um, open a fake account. So that's not possible. So, um, so you upload first application form and then you say upload another document. And then from the menu, you choose, for example, CV, click CV and then upload CV. Then, um, click on upload another document then you so i don't know certificate then you upload your master certificate and you so on until you have uploaded everything and then is the last button send your documents do that and after this you should have an email in your email account informing you that you have uploaded successfully all documents if you don't get this email, please go back to the portal and check. Then maybe you have forgotten to press the button, send all documents or something else went wrong. So you have to get this confirmation email to your email address. Okay, then the next slide, please. So how to find a supervisor. So it's not so easy, but it's possible. Um, okay. So let's start with um, a individual um, supervisor. So please go to this website. I also give you the link into our chat. So here it is. So there, um, let's say you want to study or do your promotion, um, your PhD in a in the field of agri agriculture then search agriculture and um, click on master program choose your language english and then search for it and then the database will offer you probably 100 or 200 master programs in this field so the first is make sure it's one without tuition fees the majority, let's say 80% of German universities are state run and there is no tuition fee at all. So we also have uh, private universities with tuition fees. And normally, if you want to pursue your doctoral degree at a private university, you also have to pay a lot of tuition fee, but the scholarship from UCA and DRAD does not cover tuition fee. So make sure to find a program that's free of charge. So, and the quality is, it's absolutely the same. So it's not like in this region that the private universities are much better. That's not the case in, in, in Germany. So let's say you are interested in this agricultural biosciences from Technical University in Munich. Then you click on this, this little um, screen and the next slide, please. Then it looks like this. And then on the second page, you find a link to the course website. So click on this course website, and then you come directly to the website of Technical University in Munich. And there you have to find the professors who teach at this master course. So then click on the professor or faculty or staff, whatever is listed there. And then you find a, the professors teaching there. And those professors are eligible also to supervise a PhD. So, and now the hard work starts. Please, so you, you see the professors have some have even their own website or a profile or a list of their publications. So now start with the professors and check 
what is their research interest, what is their focus, and try to find someone with the same focus you have for, for your research ideas. So then identify maybe three from three un different universities or whatever, find those people closest to your research ideas, and then contact these um, professors are just one for the start. Okay, next slide. And then the good question is how to contact them. Please be, make, um, or be aware of the um, communication culture in Europe, especially in Germany. We are very um, focused and uh, short. And um, when you, and, and please keep in mind the professor might get sometimes 10 letters or emails a week from all over the world by people who would like to write their PhD with them. So you have to be outstanding, not in very, how to say, <laughs> friendly words about your family or about your country, but outstanding on focus on your research ideas. So be short and concise. Just introduce yourself, what's your name, from which university did you um, degree? What do you have? What kind of degree do you have from which field? What's your research interest? Explain it in just two or three sentences and explain that you're going to apply for the DRD UCA scholarship program, provide a link that a professor knows what you are talking about and then attach your CV and an outline of your research idea, including a timetable of not more than two PH, uh, PDF, uh, sorry, pages. So I'm a bit confused today. So not more than two pages, better just one. And outline your research question, the methodology you would like to apply, and also um, give him already some um, literature resources you have read about. And again, make sure you also have read one or two main papers of this professor so that he sees, oh, there is someone. He just not scrapped me from the internet, but did the effort to read my papers and um, refer to my research ideas. And if you do that, your chances might be not low that the professor will answer you. And then you can negotiate about um, how to shape your research idea a little bit more better. Okay, and then the next slide. So if you are trying to find a um, doctoral program, go back to the same page and then do not enter master courses, but doctoral programs. And then start a research. Here you see on the left side, it looks like this, click on that. And then you then, are the doctoral programs are displayed. Again, be careful with the tuition fee. Mm -hmm. And so, and then click on one program you might like and check out when is the deadline and check out. Some also might ask you to find, even so it's a, um, a structured program, might ask you to find already before a professor within this school, who might later on in the second year supervise your thesis. So read everything very carefully that you don't miss anything. So, and I think now I'm at the end of the slide, right, Nojan? Ah, Nojan, you're unmuted. Oh. So I'm so sorry. Yes, that was the um, end of the session. I've stopped sharing. Um, so uh, we have only one attendee still. It's Atabek. Atabek, if you have a questions, I'm allowing you to talk. We invite you to the floor. Hi. Uh, uh, I think I... I I understood all sentence. I am. I will try to apply. Okay. It's... 
So you don't have questions, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, or Adabek, if you later on in the process have some question, please feel free always to write Nojan or me an email. Uh, and we are happy to answer. So sometimes when you start the process, then some questions, questions will might. appear. That's right. Yeah. Atibiek, yes. And also, please make sure you, you've you copied the links that Katya shared with you in the chat box. Yes. You did, right? Yes. Okay, then that's great. Okay, thank you uh, for participating. Thank you very much, Katya, for the presentation. Mm -hmm. It was great, as usual. <laughs> okay, thank and, you uh, for yeah. making this possible. <laughs>